Welcome to SCN Corporate Connect. I'm Greg Greenberg reporting live from the NYSE. And today I'm here with Dan Bates. He's the CEO of Impact PPA. Welcome, Dan. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Well, Dan, billions of people across the globe do not have access to clean, reliable energy, but Impact PPA is attempting to solve that problem. How do you intend to do it? What we're doing is we have created a, a platform that allows people to address their need through the use of a software technology, right? Using it on the blockchain. So anyone anywhere can submit a project to the blockchain, it gets validated by the community, and it might be renewable energy. Wind and solar, providing power for those people, those unbanked, unconnected people around the world. Could be water, could be cold storage, whatever it is. Well, let's talk a little bit more about energy. What's constraining the energy market right now? It's, in our opinion, the problem that you have with most of these technologies in most of these countries is that they don't have access to capital that allows them to put wind and solar plants on the ground generating energy for those that need it. The World Bank, USAID, even Power Africa, these legacy institutions are very difficult and slow to navigate. So countries are using diesel. They're using the things that they know that are cheap and plentiful. We have an opportunity now using the blockchain and crowdfunding to bring clean renewable power to billions of people around the world that either have a lack of access or lack of consistent energy. Why don't you explain a little bit more how blockchain helps solve the problem, blockchain in particular, and then we'll talk about crowdfunding, because these are buzzwords right now, a lot of people don't know what they mean. Sure, blockchain allows for a validated and trusted transaction. It's Data is open to everybody, right? On that chain, anyone can look at the ledger. They can see how much power was generated. They can also understand how that transaction took place by who is buying the power. That's where we're using the power of the blockchain and allowing people to come into the community through the function of an ICO, right? So that they can invest in projects that they believe are, are valid, are important for one, social good, and the benefit of what we're trying to do in, in promoting Clean renewables is a way of mitigating climate change. And that's the crowdfunding part. Right. Let's talk about why an ICO, an initial coin offering, as opposed to an IPO. Because we're here at the NYSE, a lot of IPOs go on this floor. That's, our traditional, that's the traditional way. Why this way? We think that using the, the blockchain, using cryptocurrency, is a better way of moving money around. It's a cleaner way. It takes out some of the legacy uh, issues that are inherent in an IPO or, or traditional banking. This is purely peer-to-peer. -peer. You need power, you can transact with us through the blockchain immediately on a one-to-one -one basis. And what type of an investor should opt for an ICO? Talk about how they may profit from this enterprise. Well, that's a good question. In my opinion, all investors should be looking at cryptocurrency as the future of investing. It gives complete clarity to the transaction, it's autonomous, and it allows for anyone anywhere to get involved in that process. Unlike what happens in traditional investment banking, where on an IPO, lots of people are locked out of it. In an ICO, anyone can join, if it's structured properly, of course, with the regulation and all the other issues that have to be considered. But anyone anywhere can invest any amount of money into an ICO. And talk a little bit more about the social good, how this is going to help people in areas where they do not have access to clean, reliable, renewable electricity? Well, that's an interesting point, right? It's an interesting question. People need power. Power begets education. It improves societies. It improves economies, right? The problem that these countries have is they don't have the capital to get a project done. And like I said earlier, going through the World Bank or going through USAID or any of the African development takes a lot of time. They're very expensive. And typically what happens is those projects don't get done. By doing it through an ICO and allowing the community of crowd to help fund these projects, we can immediately put projects on the ground and benefit those people all over the world. And you're going to be collecting data, valuable data, right. uh, during, uh, as you roll out uh, Impact PPA. What are you going to do with that data? Well, knowing where these people are transacting, knowing how they're using power, gives us a great opportunity to start bringing new products and services into these markets. If you didn't have power before, you don't need an Xbox, you don't need a refrigerator, you don't need what might be available. And many of these countries, the people in these countries, they want to be like the West. 
They want to have the conveniences that we have, that we take for granted. Allowing people to now have clean energy allows them to improve their lot in life. For instance, layered services, internet access is a huge one. So why don't we set up renewable energy plants driven to the end user on a pay-as-you-go model so they don't have to incur that upfront cost and then be able to have access. That's some of the stuff that we're doing. And let's talk a little bit about your team over at Impact PPA because you have an energy background and a tech background. That's right. I've been in the renewable energy space for over 10 years. We've sold products to 35 countries. I've got about five megawatts on the ground and operational all over the world. I'm using a lot of that core team for our energy expertise and bringing on others with international experience in, in large scale installations, 200 megawatts at a time, 50, 100 megawatts at a time. Coupled with that, I've brought together a team of really top notch uh, software developers so that we can build this platform that we call the Smart PPA that allows the gateway to renewables through this ICO. Also, the team is really, really well versed in that token launch. They've all been parts of many of them over the last 24 months since these things started coming about. So we're very confident that the token will be produced, it will have no security issues, which is one of the big parts of the token, right? Making sure that it's safe and secure. And one more question, take me through the timeline. You launch your ICO, then what happens? Where are we going to be next year at this time? Our ICO is scheduled to launch mid-November. We are looking to raise a floor of $50 million for the projects that we've got. We've got over 200 megawatts in the pipeline right now. That equates to about $250 million of product revenue plus that recurring revenue side. As we go forward through the calendar, we're looking at an early 2019 launch of the full platform, which will enable anyone anywhere to enter this renewable energy space, which allows us for infinite scalability so that anybody with a need can be a part of this community. It's infinite, it's exciting. Thanks a lot for coming on and talking about it. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching SCN Corporate Connect.